we definitely started to notice the shift towards not hiding away during the convalescence period. Women now take pride in showing it the whole process of the cosmetic overhaul. Clients are beginning to insist that they're marked up for surgery at least three weeks before the date of the actual operation. He gets to the stage where he can't look after himself and things get out of hand and next time he'll probably be sectioned. Change my mind, I'm coming with you. Beautiful. Early 20th century. Fine balm. Wedgwood. Come on, Arthur Negus, spit it out. Can't rush the valuation process. <laughs> Cut to the chase. How much will you give me for it? Oh. 90. 90 quid? That's a family heirloom, that. Nah? Mass produced, markets flooded with them. I get half of what a week. 150 quid. That's my best offer. 100. Dead. Take it or leave it. All right, but I want you to know you're cheating a bereaved family out of their rightful inheritance. And where might I ask? Did you uh, acquire this item? Don't you worry. It's all above board and legal. Uh... Walter, you had major heart surgery three weeks ago. It's going to be an intensely restful time, Doctor. And it's somewhere I've dreamt of visiting for, well, light years. And Norman's fully qualified as a first aider, and he's got a certificate in his van. I appreciate the fact that you're thinking of taking a break. Exactly, Doc. Now you've got it. And I admit it's preferable to your usual nocturnal adventures. Well, you have to hunt at night, Doc. That's the only time you're going to see him. We will even discuss things together, you know. Mostly French literature. He often brings us a nice prezi in token of his uh, appreciation. Makes things a bit more realistic. <clears throat> Feast your eyes on this, Roswell. The Beetlejuice RX 800. Can you believe it's ours? Think of the possibilities. I can't believe it. I can see Norman's house from here. He's loading up the Normobile. Going ahead without us. What a difference this would have made in Bodmin. This bad boy. It would have been like a Spy hole in the galaxy. No, it's me. I've changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Ich hätte gern noch mit Margaret bezüglich ihrer Agentin gesprochen. Wer ist denn ihre Agentin? So viel ich weiß, hat sie seit ein paar Jahren eine neue. Ihre alte Agentin ist verstorben. Jetzt wird sie durch ihre Schwester repräsentiert. Von Dorothy? Ich sage Ihnen ganz offen, dass ich nicht sehr glücklich darüber bin. Aber nun, möglicherweise könnten Sie ja mit Margaret reden. Und um was geht es denn genau? Nun, Margarets neue Trilogie ist sehr gut. Aber Dorothy verlangt eine zu hohe Garantiesumme. Ich glaube, sie ist nicht daran interessiert, Margarets Bücher überhaupt zu verkaufen. Das ist sehr bedauerlich, Mr. Higgins. Ich fürchte nur, ich bin zurzeit der Letzte, dem sie vertraut. Also bitte nach solch einer Rede, die Sie eben gehalten haben. Sie wissen doch, wie nachtragend die Frauen sind. <lacht> Cheers. Let's not fall out over this. Uh, let me make you a, a reasonable offer. Well, it's not as if I'm trying to rip you off. I got I hope ahead. I got business to run. Hey, what's he playing at? Wrong! If I promise... There's going to be no Bobby Moore, and there's going to be no chasing aliens. Actually, we, uh, we prefer to use the term alternative life forms. You're staying here. Do you understand me? Message received loud and clear. Mission 
abandoned. <laughs>